All right. So user stories as well as jobs to be done are both frameworks that product teams use to figure out what their users' needs are, what they're trying to do, and eventually um, the outcome of those actions within a product. So oftentimes there's this Mad Libs type setup for jobs to be done. When a certain situation happens, I, as the user, I want to do a certain thing, motivation, so that I can get these outcomes. So what I've done here is I've actually repurposed the sentence starters template. So if you do backslash sentence starters, you can get to the, the same template or basically the same structure that I've used for um, group brainstorming. So you start sentences and then the, the team's like, oh, one thing that I have a suggestion for our process or for improvement of the product is to do this. And then the team upvotes and, and claps like so. So I've basically taken that same structure and applied it to the jobs to be done news story framework. So instead of those sentence starters, I have a when, certain situations. I'll put an example. I want to find fruit. And then we have the combination table here. So the when table just looks up to the when select list up there. So now when I double click, I can go, I go to the store. Uh, I want to find fruit. And then, so I can, I've let this as a free field. We could have this more defined, but there's probably a few different, uh, so I can or outcome. Be healthy. That's a really, really nice and, and easy outcome. We should probably sort this by the, the clap. It's kind of odd that that went to the top. And then the last part that teams really like to do is take different columns and string them together in this case into just one single story. So we can use the concatenate formula there to start merging some of these uh, columns into a user-friendly sentence instead of uh, some weird table that we have here. So from this um, list, you are probably want to brainstorm and upvote or, or clap your, your favorite ones. And what I've done is I've taken this base table and created a view of it to essentially design a backlog. So the backlog or the storyboard that I have here looks something like this, where I've taken all of those uh, jobs we've done or user stories, and I've started grouping them in different statuses. So most everything coming out from a rainstorm should sit in the backlog, but as things get nine claps or whatever determines moving from backlog on deck through the uh, product development lifecycle, you can start managing some of the stories uh, this way before, well, you can manage it in Coda or it goes into Jira or some other product management tool.